Zechariah chapter 2. I lifted up my eyes again, and looked. Behold, a man with a measuring line in his hand. It would be like a, a ruler. Tape measure we have today. Maybe a yardstick. Then said I, Whither goest thou? And he, the man that had to think, said unto me, To measure Jerusalem, to see what is the breadth thereof, and what is the length thereof quite interesting this guy's gonna go measure Jerusalem there's an angel that measures Jerusalem in Revelation and behold the angel that talked with me went forth and another angel went out to meet him Zacharias this is by angels it's possible and said unto him run speak to the young man saying Jerusalem shall be inhabited as town without walls for the multitude of men and cattle therein. It's going to be a vast population of men and cattle. For I say the Lord will be unto her a wall of fire round about. And will be the glory in the midst of her. And that's not today. There will be no walls in Jerusalem. God will be her protector. God will be in the glory in the midst of her. That is the Lord Jesus Christ in the millennium. Ho, ho, come forth and flee from the land of the north. Get out where you are. Come back, saith the Lord. For I have spread you abroad as the four winds of the heaven, saith the Lord. They're in America. They're all over Europe. They're in Asia. One went in outer space, got as high as uh, Texas. God is saying, come back. Now, 1914, prepare the land. 1945, prepare the people. God will call them back. And God will bring them back to the Lord Jesus Christ. Deliver thyself. O Zion, that dwelleth with the daughter of Babylon. That's where they've been living. That's where they were taken captive. Zechariah is written after the 70 years. As far as we know, Daniel stayed. Shadrach, Meshach, Indigo stayed. Their names are not found in the, in the genealogy of Ezra and Nehemiah. For thus saith the Lord of hosts. That seems to be Zachariah's theme, the Lord of hosts, after the glory he has sent me unto the nations which spoil you, Edomites, Moabites, Babylonians, for he that touches you touches the apple of his eye. Look at that expression. So when you say your little darling is the apple of your eye, do you just realize that you've stolen the blessing and the title of Israel? you got to be careful what you say. The Bible says in Matthew, Every idle word you shall speak, you shall give an account thereof. I didn't know. There it is. I told you, there are religions out there that proclaim to take Israel's blessings away from them. When you say the apple of his eye, God's eye. You stolen Israel's title. And God is against those nations that are against his people. For behold, I will shake my hand upon them, the nations that are against, and they shall be a spoil to their servants. Well, again, it's war. Losers. You don't go spoil the winning army. And ye shall know that the Lord of hosts have sent me. When this happens, Zechariah will be a true prophet. 
Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for lo, I come. I will dwell in the midst of thee, saith the Lord, kingdom. It's not there yet. In the midst of thee is the dumb of the rock. It's not God. Allah would like to proclaim that, but Allah is against Israel. How do you know Allah is not God? Because he's for the Gentiles, he's not for the for the people that are the apple of God's eye. That's how you know. And many nations, not all, many, shall be joined to the Lord in that day. Now according to Matthew 25, these are the nations that helped the Jews in the tribulation period. And they have no idea what they are doing and why they're doing it. How many nations will help the Jews in the tribulation period? I'll tell you exactly how many. Many. Oh, you want a number? I can't give you a number. But there will be many nations that will help the Jews in the tribulation period. And shall be my people. Why? Because you help his people. And I will dwell in the midst of thee in Jerusalem in the millennium. And thou shalt know that the Lord of hosts has sent me unto thee. Zechariah be a true prophet. The Lord shall inherit the, the Lord shall inherit Judah his portion in the Holy Land. Oh, there's that expression, the Holy Land. The Lord shall inherit Judah his portion in the Holy Land. The Lord has not inherited it yet. And shall choose Jerusalem again. He chose it with David and Solomon. Be silent, O all flesh, before the Lord. Keep your mouth shut. For he is raised up out of his holy habitation, glory, heaven with a capital H. So we see the millennium. We see God's people on top of all, of all. 